Myanmar has put off a verdict for two Reuters journalists accused of collecting state secrets. On Monday, a court official said the judge is in poor health and the decision won't be announced until a week later on September 3rd. The landmark case involves reporters Hua Long and Cho So Wu and is widely seen as a test of progress toward democracy in Myanmar. The two are accused of breaking the official State Secrets Act, a colonial era law, when they handled documents related to security forces. In testimony, the reporters had said two policemen handed them papers at a restaurant last December, moments before other officers arrested them. One police witness testified it was a setup to entrap the journalists, meant to block or punish them for their reporting into a mass killing of Rohingya Muslims. It means a longer wait until the two reporters find out if they'll be able to return to their families, who they only saw during hearings and prison visits after the arrests. Cho So Wu has a three-year-old daughter, and Hua Lone's wife gave birth to their first daughter while he was detained. The administration of Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi is facing pressure over a crackdown sparked by militant attacks last August. Soldiers are accused of killings, rape and arson. The UN has called it a, quote, textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Myanmar denies most of these claims. However, they have acknowledged the massacre the two reporters were investigating. Later on Monday, a UN fact-finding mission will release a report on the Rohingya crisis. And on Tuesday, the UN Security Council will hold a briefing on Myanmar in New York. The International Criminal Court is also weighing whether it has jurisdiction over events in Rakhine State, where the crackdown has taken place. The U.S. and others have sanctioned Myanmar military and police officers over the crackdown.